bathroom tonight. Uh, what the hell happened? Um. <laughs> it's a good opener. Thank you. A lot of things. It, it, it's it, honestly, it's been a crazy whole year. Like in the context of everything that has happened to us this last three weeks or month or whatever it's been, it stands out, but not as much as you would think it should. We we kind of like went from this unknown research lab to this like reasonably well-known tech company in a year, and I think that takes most companies like ten years. And that's been a wild experience to live through. Um, of course, these last few weeks have been particularly crazy, uh, and sort of like painful and exhausted and happy to like be back to work. Um, to say something like empathetic, uh, I think everybody involved in this as we get closer and closer to super intelligence, um, everybody involved gets more stressed and more anxious and we realize the stakes are higher and higher. And I think that all exploded. There is one thing that people are missing in the entire OpenAI drama that's going on. And that is that OpenAI may have actually discovered or invented something insane. A few days ago, Sam Altman was at an event and this is what he had to say. Like four times now in the history of OpenAI, the, the most recent time was just in the last couple of weeks. I've gotten to be in the room um, when we sort of like push veil of ignorance back and the frontier of discovery forward. If you count that piece of news in that something new might have come to light, then you understand Greg Brockman, who is the other co-founder of OpenAI, and his tweet where he's completely disappointed with what happened to Sam Altman and him and how they were kicked out just a few minutes before on a Google Meet. It's starting to seem likely, and we still need a lot more evidence on this, that this could simply just be a power struggle inside the company. Over the next few years, we will learn the same lesson we learned with Steve Jobs on whether it's the tech technologists like Ilya that build the company or the visionary CEOs like Sam Altman that end up building great companies. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, Sam Altman, the former CEO of OpenAI, is now joining Microsoft. All this drama with Sam Altman and OpenAI happens so fast. Sam Altman gets fired by the OpenAI board of directors on Friday afternoon. On a side note, getting fired the Friday before the week of Thanksgiving has to be like a top three worst day to get fired. Him getting fired by OpenAI was a shock to everybody, including the investors in OpenAI who weren't given a heads up. Because of the weird corporate structure of OpenAI, OpenAI investors weren't given a board seat. So these investors have no decision-making power that the board of directors chooses to make. Like Microsoft, which has invested billions of dollars into OpenAI, was given like a five-minute heads up by the OpenAI board that they were firing Sam Altman. So anyways, on Friday, OpenAI's board of directors fire Sam Altman for some reason. They're saying that it was because of his lack of communication or something. OpenAI investors like Microsoft are pissed because they've given OpenAI billions of dollars and Sam was their guy. So the investors in OpenAI try to get Sam his job back. Sam goes to meet with the OpenAI board of directors over the weekend to try to get his job back. But they couldn't work out a deal, so OpenAI's board of directors decides to hire Emmett Shear, who used to be the former CEO of Twitch. He's now the new CEO of OpenAI. And everyone on the internet is kind of like, yo, what is going on? Why, why is all this happening? Microsoft CEO Seth Nadella decided to use this as an opportunity to just hire Sam to lead Microsoft's AI development. What, what a boss move. Microsoft also hired OpenAI's president, Greg Brockman, who was also fired by the board of directors on Friday. Nadella posted about this at 2 o'clock in the morning, saying that Microsoft's still going to work with OpenAI, but Sam and um, Greg are going to lead AI development at Microsoft. <sighs> a lot of drama for one weekend, and Microsoft ends up coming out the winner at the end of all this, because now they have two of the best talents in AI working for them. And OpenAI, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with them. I mean, I'm sure ChatGPT is going to continue to be popular, but where do they go from here? I'm sure more details are going to come out about this. I just want to know why Sam got fired. Like, what, what happened? What did, he, what did he do? Sam Altman is back at OpenAI as CEO, but things don't end there because apparently something dystopian actually took place before he was fired. Here's part seven of the OpenAI saga. I swear it's like a reality show at this point. According to a latest exclusive by Reuters, apparently before Sam was removed as CEO, several employees at OpenAI sent a letter to the board warning them of a powerful artificial intelligence discovery that they said could threaten humanity. This supposed breakthrough discovery was codenamed QSTAR and it's thought to 
have precipitated Sam's ouster. Some employees make progress with QSTAR and according to a source cited by Reuters, some believe that it could be a breakthrough in OpenAI's search for super intelligence, otherwise known as Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. TLDR, these researchers freaked out about what they discovered and they just wrote a letter to the board. But it's important to note here that Reuters clarified two things in the story. One, that it wasn't able to actually review a copy of said letter and it wasn't able to verify the source's claims. So QSTAR is probably not something to worry about for now. Is this the end for ChatGPT? Sam Altman, the founder and CEO of OpenAI, just got fired. All we know for sure is that the board claimed that he wasn't truthful. In addition to this, the president of OpenAI, Greg Brockman, resigned as soon as he heard the news. Is OpenAI screwed? What do you think? I, I actually don't think we're all going to go extinct. I think it's going to be great. I think we're like heading towards the best world ever. Um, but when we deal with a dangerous technology as a society, we often say that we have to confront and successfully navigate the risks to get to enjoy the benefits. And that's like a pretty consensus thing. Um, I don't I don't think that's like a radical position. I can imagine that if this technology stays on the same curve, there are systems that are capable of significant harm in the future. Humans are very bad at having intuition for exponentials. Um, again, I think it's going to be great. Like I wouldn't work on this if I didn't think it was going to be great. Um, people love it already. I think they're going to love it a lot more. But that doesn't mean we don't need to be responsible and accountable and thoughtful about what the downsides could be. Sam, you're fired. What? Why? Well, we uh don't have confidence in your leadership. That sounds like BS. Yeah, you're right. We just don't like your baby face, but we can't say that publicly. We'll hire you and actually pay you. Oh, dope. Whoa, what the hell, Microsoft? You can't do this. You're our biggest investor. First of all, you fired him a week before Thanksgiving. Yeah, move, guys. And in doing so, you actually gave us the best Black Friday gift of all. What do you mean? Well, most of your employees are threatening to quit and join us if you don't step down, so you just gave us OpenAI for 100% off with no regulatory scrutiny. You guys were a great investment. Oh god, what have we done? Well, you f***ed up. But hey, have fun with the Twitch CEO. Come on, Sam, let's go talk about the future of AI. So if you're confused why OpenAI and Sam Altman got fired, read this. This comes from the president of OpenAI and basically the timeline of what incurred. So go ahead and pause and let me know what you think.